Hi everyone, welcome to day nine of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. And before we start, I would like to remind you again to please subscribe to this channel. And if you like the content, to please like the videos so that more people can see this content. And I always welcome uh, any comments, any feedback, and any questions um, on which we could work further together. And now we can start with today's topic, which is worrying. As you can see from the title, I have a solution for you. Uh, if you are someone who cannot work due to worrying. Worrying can take over in many different situations in our lives, in many different scenarios. And in terms of work, it can take over when a deadline is approaching, when we have to present our work in front of an audience, any audience or an audience uh, that may be a bit intimidating for us if we are feeling stuck in that moment, if we have this thing called the writer's block, um, if we are struggling with imposter syndrome. So as if these things are not difficult enough on their own. On top of that, we also end up worrying more and more because you know we are, we are feeling this uh, thing that is uncomfortable. And then we start getting into this thinking loop, uh, finding ways in the future, finding scenarios where we would feel even worse. And then this, this, this loop repeats itself. And what do we do? We either give in to worry and then just worry the whole day, or we avoid worrying and we, we try to uh, live as if those worries don't exist but in either case we don't get what we want because if we worry the whole day away then we can't do the work that we are supposed to be doing and if we bury the worries under the rug sooner or later they come out again and then we have to bury them again and this cycle continues until uh, we can't run away from the fact that we are worrying. So I have a third option for you to consider, which is feeling your feelings, worrying, going into the depths of worry. But there's a big but there. Not any time. Not all the time, obviously. I am talking about basically scheduling your worry time. How could that look like? So basically you just, first of all, schedule like half an hour in your day, maybe in the evening to just, just sit down and worry. Like that's, that's your task. That's your to-do in that moment. And before that, during your most productive hours, you don't focus on worrying. You sit down to work. You get flooded with worries. You take note of those worries instead of running with them. And simply get back to work while knowing that you have enough time to worry about every single one of those things as much as you want. And you try to do your best. And when the time comes to worry in your schedule, just sit down and run wild with it. And whether you have to Google things or, or catastrophize and all of that, like do all of those things. And then once the schedule time is over, stop again, which could be a bit tricky, but practice makes progress so try and see if this works and for you uh, yeah you might need to schedule an hour if you're a big warrior in that moment okay 
or if you don't worry that much, schedule 30 minutes or even shorter. Depending on the situation, you can increase or decrease this time. But try it and let me know if that works for you. I'm very curious to hear from you about this one. And tomorrow, I'll be back with another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions. <laughs>